the thought process about uh, getting back to this and uh, were you approached for this fight? Was it your idea? Um, you know, it, it started as a stare down at a charity event. Some, some of the organizers that asked us to do a stare down. And I actually told them I would take a picture of my camera and I'm going to post it. So I posted it and said, why not? And he, he started running his mouth. So I have some fun, poke fun back at him, and it really, really but, yeah, but it got me that the wheels turning about, you know, I, I really I don't think I'm done fighting, but I want to try it again. So I got back in the gym and started working out, and, I, and he wasn't actually my first thought of an opponent. He was the guy I was talking to Bellator, we were uh, talking about Chael, we were talking about some other people, we were talking, working on other people, and along the way, um, you know, he came back with talking to Golden Boy, and they wanted it. okay and so that's when it, it changed us to the golden boy and doing kind of the boxing model which was interesting to me it's doing that for the first time in, in MMA. what was the reaction of your family when you told them hey this is what i want to do were they on board with this well I, you know no because age is really a yeah, issue yeah, now so they, my wife was just as long as you feel you can do it you know it's one of those things she she did wasn't for or against it, she just you do what you think you think is right, and, and I took the time. I was I'm not I'm not I'm not dumb. I, I, I got it. Got back in the gym. And I, I started training to see before I started committing to try to even look for a fight. I wanted to know I could do it, and, and it's, it's one of those things. And, and I got got to a point where you know, and and then when the offer for Tito to fight came in, you know, I felt I needed a warm up fight anyway to get into, into fighting, get back into fighting. So. Who better to warm up with than, than this man? No, and, and lastly, for me, how long did that process take for you to find out? Well, you know what? I'm actually ready for this in, in the training. It, it, it took about six to eight months of training. Okay. To get back into it, and make sure I was. I wanted to keep picking it up. I, I picked it up slowly, little by little, just to see if I could keep, keep that at pace going. You know, and, that, and that's what was the big, the big deciding factor. And, you know, it, it's, it's one of those things, right? I, I can do anything I put my mind to. I feel like now, especially now, I feel like I, I'm back in shape. I made it through fight camp. Like that was the biggest thing. Did I make it through a whole fight camp and be ready to go? I got through probably three hard workouts left, and uh, I'm ready to go. Thank you. The biggest question of all, I mean, you're a legend in the sport. Everybody knows who you are. You, you've done it all. Why? Why come back at this time? Um, you know, because I wanted to. I, you know, because. I, I got in my mind. I don't think I left the way I wanted to. I didn't, want, I didn't end the way I felt like I had more to give. And you know, and then when people started saying, "Hey, stay retired. You can't. You can't come back. You can't do it." I, want, I like proving people wrong. I, I like to prove I can do. I can do whatever I want. As long as I put my mind to it, I work hard at it, and I can get there. So uh, that, that's what got me started. That's what got me in, back into it. And then I'm gonna. And we're gonna see. I, I mean, I, I would like to fight a few more times after this if. I feel like it afterwards. You know, we're gonna get through this fight, see how I feel, and then go When you that. visualize this fight, how do you see it in the uh, I end, It's gonna end with him knocking out, getting knocked out. I'm gonna knock him out. Um, at some point in this fight, he's going out. Um, uh, Chuck, we have seen Tito Ortiz 